Hey, what's up? I just got a question from Romain um, about adding a mechanical component to one of our uh, CAD models. Specifically, he was trying to add a screw uh, to the CAD model. And in this video, I will show you very quickly how to add a, uh, a screw from McMaster Car into your design. Um, now, you can only do this using the full version of Fusion. This will not work in the web version. It will not work in Tinkercad. So it is important that you are in the, uh, in the full version. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save. You should always do that. And I am going to uh, choose where I'm going to save it. Um, and I am going to, uh, let's see if I can find it on my engineering work. Um, so I'm calling it adding hardware. Um, so he set a screw. So let's just make like a rectangular prism here. For, uh, for something to put that screw into. So I'm just gonna draw just a regular plain old rectangular prism, just like that, like a plate. You guys have all done this before. Um, and I am gonna put a hole inside this rectangular prism. And I don't know, let's see, I'm gonna make it uh, eight millimeters. So this is just a small hole. And uh, let's fit this here. And if I want to, I can get really fancy about this and I can thread this hole by clicking on that. And notice here it says eight millimeters, so that's the hole size. So it's um, eight by 1.25, so I'm gonna click OK. And so here's how you add a screw. So we're gonna go to insert up here and we're gonna insert a McMaster car component. And we're gonna look for a screw and a bolt. It comes up right away. And I don't know, let's do, oh, let's, let's do this. Let's find ones that fit our size. So we are M8 by 1.25. Four inches down to eight, we'll go and search. And you can look at all different style ones. So I don't know, maybe we'll do a socket head screw right here. And um, I'll do that. And this is how you actually sort of uh, get in here to get this done. So you can see all the screws listed here, it's fine. So eight by 1.25 black oxide, and then it has lengths. So I don't want this to be too long. So I'm gonna use this eight millimeter one right here. And if you scroll across, you have a part number. You click on that part number. And then if you're lucky, and this is most parts, it says CAD, you click on CAD, and you can see this pop up just like that. And then what you do is you scroll down and the format that we need is 3D step and you hit save. And if everything works right, this screw gets added into your model. Um, and uh, notice that it sort of just puts it randomly there and it's as a component. Um, if you wanna get super fancy about this, um, it's actually fairly easy to align the screw perfectly in the hole without having to muck around through. This is what you have to do. Um, you take your body and you convert your body into a component by right clicking on it. Create component from body. So now I have two components and I assemble. So I go to new joint and just hit continue and I click on the piece that I'm moving, and then I click on the place where it's going to. Now, sometimes it doesn't do it exactly the way that you'd expect to do it, so notice how it put it on the bottom side of this. Um, I should be able to flip this. You can see how it flips up to this side, and then I can adjust it how far down I want. And then now what I've done is I've created a joint and put a screw right into that hole. And I have two components, so pretty awesome. If you have any more questions, feel free to send them through and I'll try to solve them for you. Take care.